Hi children. In aim number 8, we are going to learn boats and stream related problems. And before going to the problems related to it, we have to know, we have to learn some basic concepts related to this. Now, in that, we know that uh, what is the formula of the distance? If you know the speed and the time, that means what is the relation among these three distance, uh, speed, and uh, time? Distance is equal to speed into time. Second relation. You have to remember while solving the problems, you need to find distance if we are provided speed and time. Sometimes you have to find the speed if we are provided distance and time. So that that formula is very, very important. Now, in boats and streams problems, we can find two types of the streams. That means the direction along the stream, that means the direction of the boat along the stream, the direction along the stream is called is called downstream very important term this is downstream what is meant by downstream if the direction of the boat along the stream is called downstream that boat is said to be in downstream now come to the third point. The direction of the boat against the stream, otherwise opposite to the direction of the stream, then the boat is said to be in upstream. That is the direction, the direction against the stream. against the stream is called upstream in these problems these two play very important role downstream and upstream. What do you understand? Suppose if a man row along the stream, then that man is said to be in downstream. If he rows against the stream, that man is said to be in upstream. Now, fourth point. In this fourth point, we are going to learn if the speed of the water and speed of the boat is given. What is given there? Speed of boat. Speed of boat is equal to x kilometers per hour and the speed of stream is equal to y kilometers per hour. Now, 
I can say speed of boat, speed of boat in downstream is equal to speed of boat in a downstream is equal to if the boat in the downstream that means along with the stream what happened along with this speed the speed of the stream is also added to it then it will be road faster than this x total speed is x plus y kilometers per hour once again speed of the boat in downstream whenever this boat is in downstream automatically the speed of the boat and the speed of the stream is also added to it then finally the speed of the boat in downstream will be x plus y kilometers per hour now this is not the actual speed of the boat and uh, to the actual speed of the boat speed of the boat is also added that's why finally this is the speed of the boat in downstream if you come to the second case speed of the boat speed of the boat in upstream is equal to speed of the boat in upstream is equal to x minus y kilometers per hour why children can we explain it can you explain why it becomes x minus y already i have explained the first case and using that first case knowledge we can explain the second case because uh, when do we say boat is in upstream if the boat is uh, if the direction of the boat is against the stream against the stream means the speed of the boat will be reduced how much it is reduced the speed of the stream much of amount will be reduced what is the speed of the stream y what is the speed of the boat x and in this case the speed of the boat in this situation the speed of the boat will be reduced than its actual speed why because of it is in direction opposite to the stream direction so that it will be moved in such a way that opposes the speed of the stream so that finally finally the speed of the boat in upstream is equal to x minus y kilometers per hour next this is very important case because of whenever we are provided the speed of the boat and speed of the stream then we can able to find speed of the boat in downstream and speed of the boat in upstream also using of these two next if you come to the fifth point in fifth point we are provided in fifth point we are provided speed of boat in downstream speed of the boat in downstream a kilometers per hour speed of boat in upstream b kilometers per hour these two are given now we have to find speed of the boat the actual speed of the boat and speed of the stream this is quite opposite to the point number 4 in point number 4 what did you observe speed of the stream is given speed of the boat is given now we have to there we have 
speed of the boat in downstream and speed of the boat in upstream. But here in this case, case number 5, we are provided that speed of boat in downstream and speed of the boat in upstream. Now how to find speed of the boat in speed of the boat and speed of the stream. Now for that there is a process proof to find speed of the boat and speed of the stream that is let the speed of boat is equal to x kilometers per hour speed of stream is equal to y kilometers per hour now x plus y if if these two are provided speed of boat in downstream is equal to if these two are provided that is speed of boat and speed of stream is provided then the speed of boat in downstream is equal to x plus y as we have learnt in point number 4, we got speed of the boat in downstream is equal to x plus y kilometers per hour. But this is given in the fifth point that downstream speed is equal to a, therefore x plus y is equal to a, let it be 1. speed of the boat in downstream is equal to x plus y kilometers per hour. If you know speed of the boat and speed of the stream and you can able to write uh, speed of the boat in downstream from point number 4 and but that is given in the problem x plus y is equal to a let it be 1 equation number 1. And also we can write uh, speed of the boat in upstream. is equal to x minus y kilometers per hour x minus y kilometers per hour this is given x minus y is equals to b by solving 1 and 2 by solving 1 and 2 we will get x is equal to a plus b by 2, y is equal to a minus b by 2. Children finally, we got speed of the boat is equal to a plus b by 2 kilometers per hour and speed of the stream is equal to a minus b by 2 kilometers per hour. Now, from fourth and fifth points, we can able to find speed of the boat in downstream and speed of the boat in upstream if we are provided speed of the boat and speed of the stream. From fifth point, if the speed of the boat in downstream and speed of the boat in upstream are provided, then we can able to find speed of the boat and speed of the stream also. These four and five points are very very useful for solving the problems. Now related to these two points, depending on these two points, we are going to see some problems. Example 1. One problem is that a man can row in upstream 7 kilometers per hour. Man can row. Speed of man, given that speed of man in upstream is equal to 7 kilometers per hour. Speed of man 
in upstream is equal to 7 kilometers per hour. And uh, second point is given in downstream speed of man in downstream is equal to 10 kilometers per hour. 10 kilometers per hour. Now, the requirement is finding of speed of the man and uh, speed of the stream. And we have from the fifth point uh, speed of man is equal to from the fifth point uh, speed of man is equal to actually we know that the speed of the man in upstream let it be a speed of the man in upstream equals to b speed of the man in downstream equals to a then speed of the man is equal to half into a plus b we have this formula with us therefore which is equal to half into 10 plus 17 7 that is equals to 17 by 2 kilometers per hour and the speed of the stream speed of stream is equal to half into a minus b half into a minus b which is equal to half into what is a a is nothing but the downstream that is 10 what is b 7 therefore 10 minus 7 which is equal to 3 by 2 kilometers per hour therefore finally we got speed of man and speed of stream if we are provided speed of man in upstream and speed of man in downstream